What's up, mother? Oh, whoops! Don't rip, don't rip your fucking mic out already, edgy gamer. God damn. Um, Discord. Okay. So we're getting on stream topic. At everyone, high roll warriors. There we go. Okay. Use fairy clothing to change how fairy looks. There are five types of clothes: tops, bottoms, decorations, headgear, and accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and said, I'm going to say, what's up to anybody watching this in post? Welcome in, welcome in. Each fairy clothing item has one effect that will change either the amount of damage inflicted by fairy magic or the amount of magic power used. Adventure mode battles, certain enemy. Okay. So I can get outfits and shit. Okay. That one's got like a gold. Feed enemy forces, but I need to get a new character. It seems like so. Yeah, that's, that's what it seems like, at least. Um, who is the character? Oh, it's Twilight Minda. Okay. I got you. I got you! Well, wait, this is Young Link, right? Level 3. Well, actually, I don't think that's that high level. For, I, I think Young Link is able to kind of whoop apps, like, whoop ass there, so. Like, maybe. Beat the Warriors of Time? I do not... Tr well... So how many people do I get to bring? Do I get to bring Zelda and someone else? Or no, is this the one that I couldn't do because it was like, Welcome in, Sora! Welcome in! I feel like that's the one I couldn't do because it was too difficult or like something like that. Run swiftly across the battlefield? That's gotta be, uh, Bomb Bull, right? Yeah, it's gotta be Bomb Bull. Although there's no way it's not. Um, let's see here. There's nothing from there. Nothing from there. Trying to go ahead and do some of these. Defeat all the enemies. Level 8. Let's see, now this shit is kind of fucked. Where I have to play as Fee and no one but Fee. Like, that's that's kind of unwarranted. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and quit out of here. Let's actually go to the Great Sea Map. Let's, uh, let's do something a little different. Welcome in, Prompto. Welcome in. Why are we saying no? All right. Um... Defeat all giant bosses in time. I mean, all right. You haven't obtained the following item, which can give you an advantage in this battle, or maybe required to progress. Hammer. You may be able to progress through legend mode. Legend mode. What's what's legend mode? What? Hold up. Am I? What the fuck happened in legend mode that I missed? Hold up. The fuck did I miss? Did I did I miss a step? What part of legend mode did I not do? I don't think I understand. <laughs> I what? Where is the hammer? All right, so it looks like we're not doing the map. Okay. Cuz I said so. I mean, that's a pretty good reason I would say. Hey man, well, welcome in Golden Swordsman. Welcome in. Um, I guess we're going to be doing uh one of these. We're going to be doing one of these maps instead. Um, we're going to get Kadi, but it sucks because she's, you know, does light magic stuff, and I'm playing as an evil character. So, all right. <laughs> they were fading away. Oh, boy. But uh, I didn't expect really to be going back to legend mode, but apparently it wants us to get a hammer. So I'll be coming back to legend mode, at least for a little bit. Just for a short time. She tapped into her very life force to bolster her magic. Sia knew this would cost her her life, but victory was not with I mean, when you're unhinged and, like, you know, literally the evil princess or whatever the fuck you want to call her, I, like, I think there kind of hits a point where you don't give a shit anymore. Like, you really just do not care. Oh, but what have you guys all been up to today? I have been doing physical labor, listening to music. I tried to listen to some of my streams today, like I was like I like to try to get my editing done. Um, and I was listening to my uh, Zelda One streams, and I'm not gonna lie, uh, dude, it was. I don't know. Like I, I I like listening to my Zelda One streams, but they're a lot more like a vibe rather than like, you know, like a quest. Like, it's, like, the things I tend to talk about are a little bit more, like, random than what I would normally talk about. Like, there's, which, I mean, you know, I, I do talk about a lot of random stuff, but, you know, I'm just saying, like, in general, I usually have a little bit more focus than I did there. 
The grind continues. I've done some writing. Oh, wait, shit. You've been doing some writing, Golden Swordsman? So, like, what do you write, per se? Do you write, like, uh... And, and don't... don't uh, if you don't want to share, you don't have to. I just... I, I'm always interested to hear, especially stuff like writing. You know, different forms of art and stuff like that. Those are always the very interesting things to me. What am I looking at here? Mission list. We need to defeat the Gomas and defend the Keeps for the Ruins. Okay, so... See, I need to go defeat the Gomas. I mean, all right, then. I can defeat the Gomas. That's not that hard. I highly doubt the Gomas are really going to stand much of a challenge. Wait, am I playing on easy? I mean, if I am, that's fine. Like, I I'll eventually get over it. Are you going to... Are you going to just continue to run away? You're mine. Fucking Christ, dude! Goma, like, might not even be hit by the fucking critical move. She might just die to that. Yeah, literally, this poor bitch just died to my basic fucking finale. Literally didn't even get to get... She didn't even get the fun part of getting hit. Wait, press when the icon below magic gauge is glowing to deplete the gauge and trigger powerful fairy magic. Using fairy magic will release an explosive attack that corresponds to com companion fairy's elemental type. As companion fairy grows, her fairy magic attacks can... Cause additional effects. Bombos. Lowers defense of any troops within range. Raises defense for allied troops within attack range. Lowers speed for enemy troops within attack range. Oh. 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 Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Okay. Uh, they will learn the additional effect corresponding to the gained attributes doubling up on the same effect that would give twice the power. Oh. I mean, alright then. Sounds pretty dope. Also, can we talk about how much better Sia looks without her weird fucking witch hat on? Because, I mean, she's got the cute face that Lana has without being nearly as, like, uh, I guess, adorable. She doesn't have, like, the really adorable cute face. Like, it, like, it's the same face, but it's a very different vibe, if that makes any sense. You write stuff that's too hot for Twitch. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fair enough. You probably write stuff that's too hot for me. I'm not going to lie. Like, I... I some pretty simple scenes will come on in an anime, and it's, it's pretty difficult for me to watch it. Like, real talk. Like, uh, I'll be real, because even when I was, uh, what was it? I was trying to read, like, a chapter or two of my Don't Toy With Me, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoto uh, manga, and there's, like, scenes in that where it's like, I just, I can't, like, I can hardly look at the goddamn book. I'm just like, what in the fuck? <laughs> and, you know, it's not, like, super bad, but it's, like, just bad enough where it's like, I can't, I can't watch it. What does this do? She's doing a thing, chat! I don't know what it is. Um, that was really shitty. I'm not gonna lie. That was really not that amazing. I'm writing a superhero story where morality is completely subjective. Morality. Oh, like... So, I mean, technically, morality is extremely subjective at the end of the day. It's just that a lot of people tend to agree on what morals are important. Like, you know, um, uh, you, you know how, like, some people say friends are more important than anything else, and some people say family is the most important, and some people say your job is the most important. I, I, would, I would say that morals are somewhat already subjective, but I think having an emphasis on that is definitely an is interesting take. I will say, a lot of times when you talk about morals or something like that, a lot of people will say, like, very similar or very much the same thing. So, I, I can see that being interesting. Um, I know, like, normally when I go out and read stuff, I usually like to read stuff that are, like, uh, comedies or... Uh, what's another one? Like, um, well, I mean, a romantic comedy of what I was just... I just told you guys I was reading. That's a, that's a pretty good example. Um, TFW still have tutorials. I'm trying out the fingerprint shield. TFW. What? I'll be fair. I don't know what TFW means. Like, I'm, I'm pretty bad at acronyms. <laughs> oh, God, don't kill me. Please, can you, can you stop? Can you stop? Are, are you are you are you done with the bullshit, my friend? Side mission start. Can we just kill Wizro, or is he just gonna ignore me?
You know, fuck you. I don't need an A rank on this mission. I'll just kill you anyways. This is an adventure map. I don't have to... I'm not... I don't have to technically give a shit. She is no longer worthy of my service, but the day won't be a total loss. Wait, what is happening? What is happening on the mission right now? Wait, so there's Icy Pose. There's Icy Pose. There's Wiz Rose. And now there's Assault Troops? Bro, okay. You, there's too much shit happening on screen. I'm trying to talk to chat. And then you have 14 objectives up here. And a gold Skulltula. Like, what? No, calm down. Calm the fuck down. You're scaring me. <laughs> um, that feeling win. Oh, I definitely... Dude, I just... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most of the tutorials are based... are They're based as fuck, obviously. No. It, it's mostly because of... Um, the fairy mechanic that I just got. Like, I just got a fairy. Ah, damn, dude. Dark Link! Wait. What are the odds? Skulltool is right here. Dude, no way. Ganondorf has entered the barrier? Was I supposed to be preventing that? I, I was I was unaware. No, no one told me a damn thing about Ganondorf entering places in danger. Well, you better get yourself out of danger, because I'm not going to be over there at least for a few more seconds. Okay, I, I, honestly, I feel like Bacoblins and Moblins from Skyward Sword are so laughable. Like, anytime I... Like, I'm not going to lie. As a kid, when I saw the Bacoblins and Moblins from uh, Twilight Princess and, like, uh, Wind Waker, I was slightly intimidated. But, like, Skyward Sword, dude, they look like the biggest dumbasses I've ever seen. Like, by... I, I can't take them seriously. I mean, they're... It, it's awesome. I, I love that they're hilarious. It makes them a lot less threatening. Until you get to that one fucking dungeon where they're suddenly fucking zombies. Which, you know, is always a fantastic way to just have a dungeon in there with zombies. God damn. You know, I forget how good Sia, like some of Sia's moves are. Especially this one. Yeah, the uh, usually, I gotta say, some of my favorite moves for characters, usually in general, is ones that are, like, really, really ranged. That's another thing I'm really excited for. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy playing as Claude inside of uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Because I, I, all I hope is I hope they don't make him too stationary. Which wouldn't make any sense, because Claude's a very shifty motherfucker. So if he plays very stationary, it'd surprise me. Um, really, the only care Like, I'm excited to play as everybody. I'm even excited to play as Edelgard. As much as I don't think she's going to be a character I'll enjoy, I'll go ahead and say it now. I I hope I enjoy playing as Edelgard when that game comes out. I might, I'll probably won't, but I hope. Here's here's to hoping. Because my dude, that would be fucking dope. She needs, she needs to have a moment or two where I don't, like, you know, absolutely hate playing as her or having her on my team. The big belly dudes, when they're a big group, that's when they get a bit scary. Yes, absolutely. The fucking moblins with the big bellies. They, it's, it's their hyper armor. It's because they have so much hyper armor. Even in fucking Skyward Sword, like, in the actual game. They have so much hyper armor, and you can't do anything about it. Which, you know, we were talking about Sky, we were talking about Zelda titles last night. What is everyone's thoughts on uh, Skyward Sword? Skyward Sword has always been a very big Zelda for debate. So I'm kind of curious what everyone's thoughts are. Yeah, because, like, uh, I'm not going to lie, Skyward Sword, I have a fucking fantastic time with that game. It's it's very fun to me. And it actually took me off guard when I actually first realized that a lot of people didn't like Skyward Sword. Because, like, in my mind, I had such a blast wielding the sword with my Wii Remote that, like, people were having trouble with it. Kind of, like, threw me off. I was like, no way. People are actually not, like, they're not enjoying the motion controls. Because, like, I had so much fun playing with the motion controls. Like, when I did my, uh... My, play, my playthrough on stream of Skyward Sword. You won't find it on my YouTube. It's, uh, it was, I didn't start recording. I didn't start saving stuff to YouTube when I did it. Uh, so that means I'll probably do it again at some point. Not super soon, though. But, the, uh, anyways. The, when I was playing it, I was standing up the entire time. And I was wielding the nunchuck and the Wii Remote like a sword and shield. And I was swinging that shit around. Stand, I was like, guys, I'm overheating, but we're gonna win! Like, and I was having just the best time. The best time. Skyward Sword is a very okay Zelda game. You finish the Sand Dungeon and Spirit Tracks a day? I do not remember a whole lot about Spirit Tracks. I remember that I enjoyed it, 
but I do not remember a whole lot about it. Um, okay, I think that's a pretty good way to describe uh, Skyward Sword. It's very, it's very linear. It's very story driven. Um, there's not really a lot of like exploration or you know, like I, I will say it does have the issue of like like a lot of the uh, Zelda bosses that I talk about, to where it's like you literally only defeat the bosses. Gandalf has even more power than I imagined. Edgy Gamer suddenly reading the subtitles for some reason. Volga, your mistress commands you to obey. Return to the base and guard it at once. I have no intention of obeying you one second longer. I act on my own accord now. Okay. I kind of want to play as Volga. Volga goes hard. Um, yeah, yeah, I really don't remember much about the uh, Spirit Track Sand Dungeon. If I remember correctly, it's the one where you get the... Jesus Christ. Uh, it's the one where you get the sand wand? I think it's the sand wand anyways. Am I am I remembering it right? Right, Sand wand? It's something dumb like that. The hero is still on my side. The hero... Um, who, who's the hero? Lana has reappeared in the fairy fountain. Why has she reappeared in the fairy fountain? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't understand. So you have to stop using magic. It's eating your mind. Literally, your brain is gone. Lana. Oh, what was I doing? All right. I have to kill Ganondorf. I mean, you don't have to. It's highly recommended, though. Wait, is this for Volga? No way. <laughs> no way, it's just actually for Volga. Volga. The odds. Um, Volga is pretty dope in this game. He really is. He's an extremely aggressive character, and I love playing as him. Yeah, it's the San Juan. Dungeon was a bit more irritating than you think. Now what's left for me is a ton of side quests. There were so many side quests in Spirit Tracks. You are right about that. There was a lot of delivery quests and a lot of, like, uh, just extra stuff you had to do. I, I do remember that. I actually enjoyed customizing your train and your boat in Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass, if I remember correctly. Like, I actually really enjoyed customizing them to the degree that, that you could. That was that was pretty fun to me. I mean, it wasn't the most epic, like, thing at all, but it was fun. Um, but yeah, Volga is a very fast character. Even this right here is just, like, just that alone. All his moves are so good for single target damage. And even this right here. If you do this, the enemy can't do anything about it. The enemy gets stun locked. Unless they have hyper armor, this right here kills them. Like, you do this until they die. And it's it's such a simple combo, but it's so damn effective that it's like, what's the point? Why would you do anything else? And then this one right here, if you angle it the right way, it goes all the way the fuck around you. Um, the only one I would say is his ultimate's probably not the best, if I remember correctly. Yeah, his ultimate's not too crazy. Which, I, I feel like there, oh, there's, there's a lot more to the characters than their ultimate, so. So that's not really too much of an issue. I would rather have a shitty ultimate than have anything else be shitty. I'd rather have a shitty ultimate or a shitty special attack. Oh boy, here it is. Fucking love that. The fact that that's a basic goddamn combo. Quickly, defeat Gan Ganondorf! I mean, I can try. That doesn't mean it's gonna work, but I can fucking try. Who's attacking me right now? Attack specialist? Oh, well, I'm the attack genius, okay? So you can get the fuck out of here. Defeated two- Have I? Already? Dude, these story missions are insane. You really do be defeating people in the fucking thousands by the goddamn second. I love that this fire just disappears. Don't get in my way. Shut up, Lana. No one cares. I'm trying to keep you alive. Now they're halt and now they're halting Lana. God damn it, Lana. What's with the good guy forces and being bad at their fucking job? Why can't why can't everybody be the bad guy? <laughs> um Edgy Gamer, I cut my arm open today. I would not recommend doing that. Cutting your arm open sounds like a very painful way to start your day. I, I can only hope that you're actually okay, man. That shit sounds fucking painful. I've uh, I've never cut open my arm, thankfully. So hopefully, uh, I, cause I, so I, I wouldn't understand the pain at all. 
but I, I just hope that you're not in any severe pain if you did. Um, and now what I have, what I have had happen is, uh, I've not like almost completely drowned, but I've gotten close to starting to drown in, um, ocean water before, which, and, and that's why I very much specify starting to drown because I wasn't quite drowning. You were, you were very aggressive right now. I'm um, ran into something, my arm's bleeding out. Yeah, then yeah, dude, you should not even be watching stream right now. You should definitely, you should definitely be at the hospital. Like, I, I <laughs> if your arm's actually bleeding the fuck out, I would not be watching a stream right now. I, I, jeez. But, uh, no, for real. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll talk about that story. I'll talk about that story. It's kind of one of the reasons I don't like oceans as well. The, um, what is it? The, um, uh, fuck. It's when I was younger. I went, um, I don't know what you guys would call it. Um, what if they're at the hospital watching the stream? I mean, hey, if, if that works, then that works as well. If you're, <laughs> if you're at the hospital watching the stream, then, hey, hope hopefully I'm making you ignore the pain a little bit. You know, the pain without love, pain, can't get enough, you know, that that stuff. Ganondorf, I don't think, I, I you may be the Lord of Darkness, but have you, have you met Volga's first combo? I don't think you have. Like, are, are you sure? Like, I think we're actually playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Welcome to video games, Ganondorf. It sucks, doesn't it? This sucks. Yep. Yep. That's a video game. That I just played a video game. Literally B Y B Y B Y, and then I mix it up by pressing B Y at least 13 more times. It was uh, rather impressive. I, I don't think a feat of skill has ever been reached nearly as high as that one. <laughs> Which I mean, you mean what? What? What if she's at the hospital? Um. Okay. So. Just leave. No one can keep me from getting everything I want. That is a very bad outlook on life. That is that is a horrible way to look at stuff. Um I'm she. That is one thing I always I actually do kind of feel bad about every now and then. Sometimes I will like call people the wrong thing on accident, and that's just because of my dude bro nature from playing too many video games. Um so like anytime I mention anybody in chat, I'm like bros or, you know, like, I, I pretty much never, never say the right thing. So, if I ever do say something like that that's, like, incorrect, I do apologize. But it is never mean-spirited. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got a Skulltula. I can't remember if Skulltulas actually give you anything in uh, this game. I know that they gave you, like, outfits inside of the other one. And I do not know if that's the end of... Uh, I think that's the end of Sia's quest line. Okay, then where the fuck is the hammer? Wait, 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 wait. Where would the hammer be? Is the hammer on here? I don't believe so. I don't see one. The fuck would it be? I'm just going to do more legend mode, I guess. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Ganon's big forehead acquired. Unlock Agatha. Dude, I didn't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I was playing on easy. Okay. Okay, that's what. That's why it was so fucking easy. Um, if anyone's wondering why I'm playing on easy, it's because uh, all the missions have a check mark for easy. So I've been going around getting some of them done on easy as well. I mean, I might as well. Like really, might as well. Bizarre. I don't think we've done the we have done the bizarre recently. I believe we have anyways. So yeah, we'll just go in here and kick some major ass. Um, let's get some uh, let's get some rupees. Why is she not leveled up? How does one level up their fairy? Hold up. Now I'm now I'm confused. How do you level up your fairy? 
I feel like I I feel like I missed something. Is it like in the dining room? You don't have any fairy food. I don't. Maybe you need food to level them up. Maybe that's what it is. I think I assume that's what it must be. Like that has to be what it is. Ganon's big booty acquired. Edgy gamer playing on easy because he's being a noob. No, it's called being efficient. And I can't help that Linkle's fucking campaign is extremely difficult. Uh, dude, I, I can't. I can't take him seriously. Like, okay, Darunia and Rudo just don't have a lot of like. like I just. I'll talk about it when you're done. It was then that Hanko, in her quest to find Hyrule Castle, stumbled onto the scene. She was quick to answer. I feel like I'm being interrupted. I'm being a noob. I'm being a knob, actually. I'm being a doorknob. I'm getting used by everybody. <laughs> that or I'm so good looking they can't keep their hands off of me. God damn. I'm such a I'm such a hoe. But no, I actually, honestly, with Daruni and Rudo, I really don't have a lot of, like, special place in my heart for either of them. Because, like, I played Ocarina at a time, but, like, I, I didn't, like, play a lot of it. I just played, like, I, I played a decent amount. Like, from when I was younger, I remember, what was it? I remember Twilight Princess and Wind Waker a lot more than I remembered Ocarina at a time. Even even uh, Majora's Mask, I remember a lot more than Ocarina at time, um, which it might be a little bit because they're they're just games I prefer in general. But like I'm just saying like, and when I actually think about like back then, like what I remember playing the most, I remember playing these other games a lot more. Fucking love this combo. Honestly, I love most of her combos. Like this one right here where she jumps off of people. Let me see. Damn it, she didn't do it. Hold up. There we go. There we go, and then played. But yeah, literally, this character is just combos. Stop targeting people, please. Please, please, please stop targeting all the enemies, okay? I don't... The enemies are already dead. You, you do not need to target them anymore. Have I already leveled up one time? Shit. Fairy food? That's not fairy food. That's that's a random pot. This is not very hyped battle music, I might add. Like, I am very, like, it's very calm and, like, very soft, calming music for a gigantic battle. What? I, I can't hear you. Bro, I don't care how mid you are. You can't stand how based I am. My skills are mid? I can't, I can't hear you. These these headphones are too good, Dylan. Both of them are boring to use. No. I mean, yeah, I would say so. I, I really don't like using Ruto, Ruto or Darunia. Um, like, if we're just talking about, like, in this game in general, like, genuinely, they... Like, Darunia is, like, he's got some flashy moves, and they leave a little bit of impact, but they're not, they're not very interesting. The only one that I would say is interesting is the one where he throws a fucking lava boulder. But, like, at the end of the day, there's a lot of other moves that a lot of other characters have that do similar effects that are way better and way cooler. And our mid-combo. And then Rudo, I just fucking hate playing as her, dude. She's just... I feel like she's just not effective at all. I feel like she's just so horrendously ineffective that I can't fucking use her. Like, it's like, when I go to use her, I'm just like, God damn it, I wish I was playing literally anybody else. And that... And no, that does not include Agatha. Agatha isn't a character in this game. It's a fever dream that I've yet to wake up from, okay? <laughs> you know, I should be looking for the, uh, not the Skulltula, but the, um, I should be looking for the, uh, heart container and the, uh, piece of heart while I'm playing this on easy, because, uh, if I go to play this on normal or hard and I start fucking getting destroyed, then it's going to be a whole other problem. God, my nose. I don't know about you guys, but fucking allergies always kill me. And, like, right now, it's not even, like, a slight 
like issue of br like being able to breathe. It's that my fucking face hurts, man. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna goddamn cry my fucking eyes out. You know, Prompto, every time I see your name, man, it makes me want to play Final Fantasy 15 every single time. Literally every single time. Edgy skill basic. Skill is noob. Yes. Yes. Rudo is pretty bad. Darunia is very mediocre. Yeah, Darunia is usable. I, I will say that. He is usable. Like, there's... It, it, I would say probably some of the worst characters in this game. Like, in my opinion, out of the characters I've used, I've used most of them. Um, both uh, Rudo and Agatha are probably the worst. Because I really only use one combo off of both characters. Like, other than those, like, singular combo on both characters, I really can't give you any reasoning on why you would ever use either one of them. Like, I can't say... Like, okay, well, Rudo's... Rudo's uh, special attack is useful in, like, very certain situations. But most of the time, it's something you would not bother using. I'm Rock Sirloin if I don't get some help or something. Rock Sirloin. Bro, I don't think I want a Rock Sirloin. I don't think that would taste very good. Also, I, I will say it is pretty funny. I was watching a fucking video talking about how the uh, Gorons were getting starved to death because they didn't have any food from the caves when they literally eat rocks. So all they had to do was literally dig a fucking hole in the ground and they would have stopped starving to death. But they just decided not to for whatever reason. Like, how... Okay, here's my question. So, uh, if you were a creature made of rock, right? Like, you were you were Dwayne D. Rock Johnson himself in the flesh. And, and you literally get nutrients from eating rocks. How in the fuck do you ever ever starve to death like that's that's one thing i will say is pretty wild like maybe i'm just not quite understanding it correctly but like when you go to save the gods in ocarina time and they're literally like my people are starving they're all dying it's horrendous and you're just like fucking why they eat goddamn rocks like you you could just say the dragon's killing all of them that makes sense that that's whatever that that makes perfect that makes perfect sense i, I would get it maybe their rock bodies are really bad at blocking fire. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I, that's that's not the point. Like you know, I don't I don't base my elemental weaknesses off of what Pokemon says makes sense. Like you know, when it gets dark in my room, I don't just fucking let out grasshoppers to hope that it eats the darkness. Like that's that's not particularly my thought process. But I don't believe that fire is gonna kill a rock. But anyways, even that nonsense would have still made more sense than the nonsense of them starving to death when they're surrounded by stuff that they eat. That's the part that I don't quite understand. And and I think to this day, I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? But I will say there might be a lot of uh, things about Ocarina of Time I'm missing because of it's been because of it being so long since I played. Oh, you, you fucked up. You fucked up! Oh, no, no, you didn't fuck up. You just died. <laughs> you didn't fuck up. I'm just too good. Oh, what in the fuck? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I saw a paragraph. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to catch up with that shit. Okay. Found the OP start of the fingerprint shield. Use the mimic plus 10. Have it hold the... Sh Shabri's Woe and the Pearl Drake Talisman plus 2. The shield needs to be in the left hand. This way, the mimic tanks like a dragon while you shield bash and inflicting madness at 70 buildup. It has high guard boost and you can increase the magic damage negation can be increased through armor. Okay. That's a lot of statistical analysis and I kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. Which is one reason I will say I really enjoy Elden Ring. Like, I, like I've said while playing it, that game is fantastic for uh, build diversity. Which, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, a, a game doesn't require build diversity to be, to be good. Don't get me wrong. It never, it never would have to. It's something that I appreciate, though. I really appreciate build diversity. I'm just going to back up into all these enemies. Wait, did I capture the place already? Shit. 
Okay, well, hold up. Let me do this then. I never do this move. I want to try it. <laughs> Fucking what? Where did the bomb come from? Bro, if I could just shove bombs down my pants and dual-wield crossbows and run around with die-high boots all day, just murdering as I go, that sounds like a fantastic time. Only if I was this skilled. Because I can tell you right now, I'm not nearly as flexible or athletic as Linkle. That's... I, I don't have to even remotely think about it to give you that opinion. Sadly, I'm not very flexible. I wish I was. I wish I was a lot more flexible. God damn, these guys are really fucking big. That's something I need to work on, though. Flexibility, thankfully, is something you can work on as a person. As a human being. Let's go, uh, let's go take this one real quick. Um, you could try punching the darkness instead. I could! Punching the darkness might work better. Because fighting types are good against dark dark types. That does make sense. That that makes sense. A, be a better story reason would be that it's a holy place that Gorons can't intrude in. Or maybe they don't want to start a war against Dodongos. That's also a good story reason. Yeah, the starving to death didn't make a lot, whole lot of sense. But those those story reasons, I think, are pretty pretty logical to me. Which, you know, this is a really big reason I love to play. <laughs> this is the fucking reason why I hate video games. Because it appeals to the male fantasy. No. Uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, this is why I like, sorry, I was watching Act Man videos earlier, and he was talking about really bad takes, and that's one of the videos that I was laughing my ass off to. Um, anyways, the, uh, while I was, fuck, I like to play a lot of story-based video games, because I love to think about the story, like, more than particularly what it expects you to think of, like, to think more in depth than just the very base level. Because I like to sit here and ask why. Like, I like to ask the very specific details. And that's, and once again, that's a reason why I like Elden Ring and, uh, you know, other games. Because they, they give you the ability to, like, hear out all these different de details. If there's any video game that sits here and gives me extra lore about stuff, I always appreciate it. Because I love reading lore and all types of stuff. Literally, when I was a kid, I would fucking read nonfiction books for fun. Because I liked reading about information. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to sit here and read history books for fun, no. But am I going to read non-fiction animal books? Yes. But more information is something I always, always appreciate. Is this, uh, the treasure chest? I hope it is. It's for Rudo. Bro, well, looks like Rudo's going to have to get her ass up here because, uh, I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not walking her up here because she can't fucking walk her damn self up. Oh my god! Well... <laughs> well, let me just get in the middle of the party. What in the fuck, dude? Oh my god. You know, are there enemies here? Let me let me fix that real quick. 25 already at 150. Did did you say 25? My bad. Didn't you mean 300? Oh, did I say 300? God damn. I, I meant to say 450. My bad, did I say 450? I literally meant one half of a fucking thousand. Which I actually meant to say goddamn 571. Oh my fucking god. That. Bro. That was insane. Okay, that's. That's kind of an example in this game where they give you so many enemies that it's nothing but fucking amazing. That. That has got to be one of my favorite parts of video games like this is when the game literally sits here and lets you just go just like it, it doesn't stop you it doesn't like limit the amount of enemies you can fight like no no it just lets you go in you just go in and you absolutely demolish everything and everyone um I literally killed that lightning dragon in Lindell. That dragon is pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I don't care what anyone calls it, I'm calling the sh I'm calling it the shield hero build. Oh, I love that! You know, the shield hero? I forgot, like, Rising of the Shield Hero is actually one of my favorite anime as well. Like, uh, I do have my anime list. Is it still under here? Yeah, I always have my list of anime I've seen under here. But, like, Rising of the Shield Hero, it's, uh, it's an anime I've seen very recent in my life. Like, weirdly enough, most of the recent anime I've seen are my favorites. So, I mean, I, of course, I have Watamote up here, which is one of my favorites. And that's a one I've seen a long time ago. Um, and I also really, really love ReZero. But then I go down here to the very, like, most recent ones, like Rising of Shield Hero. 
don't toy with me, don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoto, and then rent a girlfriend. Those are all fucking fantastic. I love them so much, so much. And I think the uh, very like serious, like darker tone of uh, Shield Hero is something I really enjoy. Because um, I also, you know, I know a lot of people hated the anime, but uh, I, I watched Goblin Slayer, and I actually really enjoyed that one. Because, you know, it, it had nothing to do with what everyone was mad about for the first episode or whatever. I just happened to uh, enjoy the rest of the series. Oh, Volga, you're dead. Hold up. Hold up, Volga. Bro, hold up. I'm sorry. There's, there's not enough sorries in the world to apologize for how fucked you are. And done. <laughs> Absolutely fucking played. Um, I don't care what anyone calls it. Okay. Counterpoint, what's wrong with appealing to the male fantasy, at least for certain games? Dude, absolutely. I don't see any problem for appealing to some type of fantasy for certain video games. I don't see any issue. Because, like, when I play... Like, okay. So, I remember, what was it? Um, I was, I was talking to somebody, and they were talking about Final Fantasy XV. And they're like, they're just trying to get, cer they're just trying to get um, people's attention for the cute guys in the game. Bro, uh, so the fuck what? Who cares? If, if you get drawn into Final Fantasy XV because at Gladiolus has abs, then that's fine. You just discovered a fantastic game, and you got to look at one of the best set of abs you'd ever seen. I don't see an issue with it. I really don't. Or, like, you know, when they have a really gorgeous girl character in a video game. I don't see any issue with that. I have no issue. Final Fantasy XIII, Lightning is unbelievably gorgeous. And if you pick up the game to see her, then that's fine. You get one of the best stories I've ever seen in a video game. And then also get to see a really, like, awesome-looking character. Like, I don't see any issue. Like, you know, sometimes games like to have hot characters. Sometimes games like to have cute characters. Like Linkle here, who is absolutely fucking adorable. And the biggest dunce I'd ever seen. <laughs> this way! Absolutely wrong direction. He died by the Tarnished Shield hero. I mean, see, that sounds dope as shit. I like that. I like that a lot. <sighs> so fucking tasty. Okay. Damn, I should like how fucking yellow my man's eyes are. Man, I skipped a week episodes. I gotta catch up. I like, S I like Sia is like super boovalicious, but has a has a story reason behind it. Yeah, like I mean, hey, like it's not like they're just giving her big boobs because they wanted to. I mean, they probably did. Like they might they might have did it and then had reason and then added reasoning. But who cares? It has reasoning. I mean, it's whatever. Like they needed a reason. Like you know, they gave her big boobs so they can make the game teen rated. Like I, I get it. I get it. I understand. Like that's fair. <laughs> oh lord. But yeah, like uh I don't see any issue like uh like I was talking about Final Fantasy 15. If you get into Final Fantasy 15 and you're like you you like you like edge lord emo looking boys like Noctis, then go go right ahead. If that's what drew your attention, then absolutely go right the fuck ahead. If you really enjoy, you know, the kind of like <laughs> I don't even know what style you would call Prompto. Let's just let's just say if, if you like, like, okay, here's the problem. I'm not insulting Prompto. I fucking love Prompto, but I don't know what you would call it. He looks like he'd be in a boy band, but that's not, I, like, I don't mean it as an insult. I mean that he looks really clean and really friendly. But I don't know how to explain it without saying he looks like he'd be in a boy band. <laughs> he does, yeah, exactly. He does look like he'd be in a boy band. I do? No, I'd like to be in a fucking emo boy band. That's a slight difference. I'm kidding. Prompto can match that too. That's <laughs> um, let's see here. And then, of course, Ign Ignis, who's the fucking preppy, perfect preppy perfectionist who will not only drive you everywhere, but also cook your dinner for you. And you know what? If that's your fantasy, I, I don't see a damn problem with it. That sounds perfect to me. Sounds absolutely fantastic. I love these weapons, by the way. I love the whip. I love the beetle. 
The Hawkeye is alright. Not my favorite, but it's alright. Um, the Goron's Bracelet's classic. And then Four Roars Wind, of course, classic as well. Um, not Training Dojo. He da him. He's, yeah, he needs Moblin Flanks. I never have Moblin Flanks. Damn, I have a fuckload of Fiery Arrow Post Leather, though. Got too much of that. Oh, boy. I just need to not touch my nose, and my face will hurt at least a little bit less. I'm trying to think why she takes Fiery Arrow Post Leather. Like, I can't I can't think of any specific reason outside of it's a... The Arrow Post is a Twilight Princess enemy. That's about the only reason I can genuinely think of for, like, her specifically, you know, using those. Um, this I will be getting for her. That is a very good item to get for her. She needs Link's Scarf. Um, Goma Acid. I honestly should do... Do one of these. I like. I actually do like playing as Midna. Midna's pretty fun. I don't like Lincoln now. No. Ganondorf. Ganondorf's always a good one to play as. That one, I can actually afford that. Now he's always gonna have special attack. I mean, that's not very good or that important because his normal combos do enough damage as is, but you know, for when I eventually decide to do that. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, cool. It's hard work, but if but if I'm gonna look good, I gotta put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours, dude. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, I, I always tell people if you want to increase your health or, you know, change what you look like a little bit, there is nothing wrong with that. Always feel free to work out. Uh, my boy my boy here that I live with, uh, he works out all the damn time. He looks he looks just like an absolute snack. It, it's hard. It, dude, it's so distracting. Every time he walks in here. So, like, hey, it works. And I mean, me personally, like for me for workouts, I really don't do a lot. The, I'd say the main thing I do, like the main thing I do, is literally just stuff that works out the abs. And that's because I'm a really thin guy, so I just, you know, I don't want to have too much of like a, a beer belly look to me. Because I eat a lot of, I eat a lot of like food that would give you a bigger belly. Like I literally eat like, you know, burgers and um, spaghetti and you know, stuff like that. I just kind of well, try to keep up the look I want. And there's nothing wrong with trying to look the way that you want. I see no issue with it. The Argorok Stone, the Gibdo Bandages. Um, Assist. There we go. So I'm actually getting a lot. I actually really do like playing as Sheik, so this works pretty well. Um, so I might as well just go ahead and start upgrading these. Um, Yeah, I do. Go ahead and get Impas. Why not? Link, we should upgrade Link. Link is unbelievably fucking OP. Honestly, Link should be one of my first characters to max out, like, on everything, because of just how fucking useful he is. Like, there is very few moments and times where Link isn't useful. Uh, he is almost always, always one of the best characters to play as. Like, in any mission, ever. Because, like I said, it's just his, his amazing ability to be overpowered as fuck. Okay, back to Linkle. Let's go ahead and hit rupees and do this. After y'all, it's about drive. After y'all, it's about drive. It's about power. Um, God damn it! What is? How, what's the rest of it? Not long after this, Girahim discovered I don't. I don't remember all of it. Like I didn't listen to the song that much. <gasps> it's our boy Girahim. Girahim knew a legendary beast was imprisoned deep within the land. Just on a simple he problem with the Tarnish Shield hero build, it's weak. Because it this is when the opponent also becomes like Far above, magic. Among the clouds of Skyloft, the spirit <sighs> sense disturbing. I'm letting them read this while I'm reading uh, up with chat. Convinced that an evil force was stirring, Fi quickly left Skyloft and flew down to the sealed grounds. As we stay hungry, we devour. See, that's all I was thinking. We stay hungry, we devour. That's what I thought it was, but I just didn't have the confidence. <laughs> and take what's ours. But she had managed to find another battle. I love Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He is so fucking entertaining. He, he's probably one of my favorite actors, like ever. Like I, I love, I love seeing the way he interacts with his friends. It's so wholesome. Like, you know, some people probably, like, look at him talking with Kevin Hart and everything, and like, oh my god, I can't believe they're so mean to each other. But, like, I just, I, I love how, how wholesome it is. It's so funny to see friends, like, you know, be so comfortable around each other that they're, they're able to make jokes and, you know, be a little rude in a super joking way. 
And then I love that Dwayne Rock Johnson has the ability to be super serious and an absolute goofball all at the same time. And I, I love that. I love to see that he's more than just something like he's not a one note person at all. And I, and I, I really love that. That move is really good. I was simply, oh shit, I was gonna read it. God damn it. I was trying to read Gidahim's uh, dialogue. I can confirm the presence of a powerful evil. I'm trying to get a little bit better about reading the dialogue because I know they don't fucking say it. There's a 60% probability the evil is actually the imprisoned, a beast of incredible horror. They appear to be far smaller than the legends have stated. Still, they must be defeated. I, I, I'm, I cannot do a Linkle voice. Are you in trouble? Looks like a legendary hero's work is never done. <laughs> if I... What's all that racket? <laughs> I doubt it's anything to worry about. Hey, it's the guys I need to fight. <laughs> Talk about a free fucking deletion of your goddamn... Uh... God damn it, health bar. Let's go with health bar. That's not what I meant to say, but you're... I meant to say stagger bar. Let me uh, let me check the battlefield log. What, who do we all have on our team? Just three people? So just Fee, the Gold Cuckoo, which is in my base for some reason. Linkle, you weird motherfucker. Oh no, they're, ta they're targeting the Cuckoos! I have to help them! I have to save the chickens! These are really good for getting imprisoned pieces. I fucking love getting the imprisoned pieces. Because that's a boss you really don't fight very much in this game. And if you do fight imprisoned, it's always the worst thing ever. Like, it's the most frustrating bullshit fight. Like, there's just no reason. Don't, don't you do that. And game. Mission successful. I mean, it is still on easy, so I mean, don't, don't expect a challenge for like the next few missions. While I'm in the Legends mode, I'm just kind of here to get some of the completionist stuff done, you know? Oh, wow. No way. So they summoned backup because I helped them. How nice. Holy fuck. That is so many chickens. It's like every KFC in the goddamn world got raided and all the chickens inside their places got saved. Like, bruh. Four hundred kills, not bad. What I really need to do is I need to get a thousand kills with one focus spirit. The only problem is I think I have to be playing as a young link in very specific missions for that to happen. I don't think that would really happen in like every mission. I'm pretty sure it'd be very, very, very specific ones. Okay, there's a teleport thing here. I need to keep I need to start activating the owl statues. I always forget the owl statues exist in this game. I'm so used to them not being there. You would have said Chick-fil-A instead of KFC. I probably just have KFC on my mind because I was uh, watching a KFC like conspiracy thing a while, a little while ago. It was uh, the new JonTron video about KFC. I was watching that, and honestly, man, that shit was hilarious. JonTron is another person I really enjoy watching. One of my favorite YouTubers by uh, by far, by far. Um, what the fuck? Hold up, I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. Lyrics go, it's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour, put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. Blake and Samoan in my veins, my culture banging with strange. I changed the game, so what's my motherfucking name? I love that. I fucking love that. That's that's dope. Okay. So yeah, it's OP, but annoying to beat. You need to get past Mog, the omen, to get it. He is in the sewers under Lindell. Then gotta open the hidden path behind the chest, then you get to play Elden Ring's version of... Dropper. I would have said Chick-fil-A instead of KFC. Kind of messed up the spelling, but you get the idea. I Oh, yeah, I get the idea. I get the full idea. But, um... Fuck, what was I saying? I actually... So, I will say, I do prefer Chick-fil-A over, um... KFC. Like, I was watching the goddamn, um... Edgy Gamer, can you go five minutes while I'll sing a curse word? I, I can't help it. It's very... It, 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 it's, it's very... I have a lot of filler words, and I think I think you guys probably understand that from like listening to how I talk. There's a lot of excess brain. God damn it! There's a lot of excess thoughts going on. Um, therefore, so it causes me to have a lot of uh, filler speech, and so one of the things that causes a lot of one of the ways one of the uh, examples of a lot of filler speech is my uh, excessive cursing. 
and it's something I do everywhere regardless of like placement or importance. The only time I think I ever specifically um, like really don't curse a lot is when I'm very much like not trying to talk. Like if I'm trying to listen a lot more than talking, then I won't do a lot of cursing. But if I'm like actually trying to say a lot of things, then I pretty much will always have a lot of curse words coming out. So like when I go to my fucking grandma's house, I just sit there and I don't fucking, I don't talk near as much. I take a lot of time and think about what I'm going to say. But when I'm out on stream and I'm thinking, like I'm not doing near as much thinking about what I'm saying. It's a lot more saying what I'm thinking. Um, which, you know, it, it's it's good to do a little bit of both from here and there. Like every now and then, you know? Like it's good to say what you're thinking. It's good to think before you talk. It, it, it really depends on the situation. Hold up. I want to see my man's, uh, I want to see my man's statement. What is going on out there? I'll vanquish anyone who dare challenge me. Edgy gamer, you didn't read it correctly. Bro, shut up. <laughs> Bro, shut up. Shut up. Ugh, they came out small again. Useless fools. Keep at it until you succeed. Now, my voice acting is not very good right now because I'm not nearly as prepared for it. When I did Skyward, when I, uh, when I was doing Skyward Sword, I'd always have a lot of gum and a lot of uh, water ready. But like right now, I, the last thing I did is I ate food, drank milk, and drank uh, a frappe. So my voice isn't gonna be near as like lovely sounding as it would when I do my voice acting. I got a material. I'm a material girl. No way. Come on, Fee, go, go take a base for me. You need to fucking participate. It can't just be me taking on everything, Fee. You need you need to help. How low level are you, 16? A simple child like you knows nothing! How long do you plan on interfering? Enough! I'll drive away the pests before they find the Gate of Souls. Servants! Take the imprisoned! To the pathetic weakling's base. Do it now. The imprisoned are gathering at the under the controller troops. Oh god. Okay. Okay. None of that. Not none of that. Well, all I gotta say, really good mission for uh, getting materials. I don't think I could at possibly ask for more imprisoned materials than what I'm getting right now. I can confirm that the imprisoned are being controlled by other monsters. Right. Take out the monsters controlling the other monsters. Monsterception. I mean, fair. Also, it's hard to eat healthy food when a ton of the time it tastes terrible and I don't have the money to make it taste good on a daily basis. Have you beaten Mog in the Eternal City Edgy Gamer yet? I have not beaten Mog in the Eternal City. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in Elden Ring I've not done. Um, God, that's so good. It tastes so fucking good. Um, yeah, I've not really gotten to the Eternal uh, City yet. Uh, like I said, when I, uh, like the furthest I've been on um, Elden Ring has been on stream. But I will say uh, tomorrow, if you guys want, I, uh, I might play some more uh, Elden Ring. I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to go more than a day with without Elden Ring because I've been going, you know, like I've been doing so much Elden Ring that I was like, you know, since I'm really feeling Hyrule Warriors right now, let's go play some Hyrule Warriors. Let me go to that Skulltula. I think I actually know where it's at. I've not had to worry about Skulltulas in a while, so. How? The ritual may have been botched, but defeating them should be impossible. Defeat a thousand enemies. <laughs> I defeated thousand two hundred nine. Master, if I'm not mistaken, you are a true hero of Hyrule. I mean, I appreciate it. She's not, but like, I appreciate it. Ah, <sighs> you know, I need to finish one of these uh, Skulltula like illustrations. I've really done like I've pretty much done none of them. You know, this is this is why you have the ability to hit through their uh, shields. Come on, imprisoned. 
Come on now, just stand there and take it. Just take the damage. Um, you fought him before, I think. He's the one boss you said you'll fight at least once a stream. Oh, that guy? That motherfucker? Oh my god. So, wait, so you're talking, ab you're talking about that guy. Yeah, like, I want to fight him once per stream, but there's a lot of other things on stream I need to be doing, so... I've been not upholding that near as much. But, uh, yeah, that guy, I've not fought him again since. I should. Um, just to, like, try it out. Let me, uh, check my battlefield real quick, and then I'll catch up with the rest of chat. The one over there is getting a little low. Um, where is Fee at? Fee is way the fuck over here. Okay, Fee, I'm gonna need you... Brown Kugo. Go save the Brown Kugo. Um, wait, hold on, hold on. So I saw, I saw that you're posting on Meverse. Um, I remember posting on Meverse, a finished pick of the Skulltulas, and I got banned for spoilers. Bro, fucking what? You posted a full drawing of the fucking... What? How? How did you get flagged for spoilers for... That makes no damn sense. That literally makes negative sense. Um, that is so much bleed. Yeah, I, I do know who you're talking about now. Oh, boy. Okay, go ahead and get rid of the control troop. There you go. I've got to take out the monsters controlling the monsters. That's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying my best. Ceremonial troops summon the imprisoned. Failure again and again and again! How can this keep happening? Terminal troops are preparing to summon backup. They are summoning a fuckload of backup. Okay, I need to get down to the main base. Look, they're being summoned again! I must recommend that we defeat as many imprisoned as possible. I'm trying. What do you think I've been doing? You think I'm just fucking running around in circles? Oh, you're dead. You're all so fucked. I was gonna say the only one who might live is the imprisoned. <laughs> Hold on, Kukos, I'm coming for help! Okay, okay. Go ahead and let her run over there real quick. Actually, hold up. Let me. I'm gonna teleport there. I don't. I don't ever use this ocarina, so I usually. I usually try to like multitask as the best of my ability. It's kind of you know, and the cool part is like multitasking in this game. Have you guys ever played uh, Pikmin? Have you guys ever played that game? That is a game I really, really enjoy. Oh, okay. Okay, I think they're all gone now. Poor Kukos, dude. Oh, shit. Um, Nintendo dumb. Wow, add to shimmy. I've played all three. Henry Pikmin. Um, so, okay, so that's actually, that's kind of where I'm getting like the micromanaging kind of like, uh, you know, where I'm trying to do like multiple things at one time. That's kind of like where I'm getting that kind of like, I'm trying to have everybody do something at the same time. That's kind of where I'm getting the, like, idea of trying to be super efficient from. Because I fucking love Pikmin. Um, sadly, I've only ever played Pikmin 3. Are they gonna die? Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, uh, I think they finally stopped dropping loot. I think it finally spawned in so many that the game just stopped, like, bringing more in, you know? And then this move is really good for B. B is one of those characters I would say is decent. 
Um, this is one. This is one of the reasons I do not like her that much. Is yeah, that when she breaks someone's uh, gauge, it's just not any type of move that I would ever use. And a lot of like this move right here is not something I particularly enjoy either. Like I said, she's just got she's too much AOE. There's not enough damage being dished out for like my liking. I would rate way prefer it if she was. Uh, here, you know what? I'm going to have her go down here to these shield moblins. And I'll go up here and kill these guys. No, I'd way prefer it if he was, like, actually able to target enemies a little bit more. Because, um, like, as far as what I've seen, she really can only target them with very specific few things. I like, really, this move right here is the... Well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> His fucking health bar. Damn. Well, like, this move right... Well, if I can even do it this one. That's really the only like single target move I've seen. It's like everything else. And it's just like even her basic attack. It's a it's a circle attack that attacks around her person. It's just it's something I can't really get into. But I was going to talk about Pikmin. Um, I gotta say Pikmin is one of those games that I honestly would love to play more of as well. Because um, I've never played Pikmin 1 or Pikmin 2. And Pikmin 1 looks interesting but Pikmin 2 looks amazing. I would love to play Pikmin 2. I feel like Pikmin 2 would be a game that I would be absolutely ecstatic to play. Especially since there was a lot of stuff in that game that I thought would be interesting. But that I never got to try out. Like, uh, you know, going underground in the dungeons, and then using you know, the white and purple Pikmin. It's, uh, fuck. I think that's bad. Damn it. That's alright. I don't, I don't need the Kuko's help. I just need to kill these enemies. But no, uh, yeah, like, I feel like going into all those underground dungeons and everything inside of uh, Pikmin 2 would have been just such a fun part of the game. And I feel like I'm slightly missing out. Pikmin 2 is your favorite? That's what I'm saying, like, exactly. I feel like Pikmin 2 would probably be the fun funnest out of the uh, ones there. I do not know what this is. I'm... Okay. Maybe it's, like, the upgraded version for Linkle's weapon. Maybe. That's, that's the best assumption I can give. You're dead. Yeah, that, that sword attack is by far the best damaging move she has. They've left me with no choice. Come, come, come on, shield moblin. Just, just participate, bro. Just let me attack you. Thank you. I'll take care of the enemy leader. So, where is the enemy leader? Eat him, he's right there. Okay. My, my power is unimaginable. I'll exterminate every last one of you. Yeah, I can't do it. Not not right now. My voice isn't near smooth enough right now. Maybe I'll get some water after this mission. Kind of improve my voice a little bit. What's wrong, Gita him? Are you fighting the combo queen? What did you fools do? Hey, it's worked, he's weaker again. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Olimar. He is okay, but sucks in 1v1. Um, while I'm off the bed night, no problem, Sora, you have a wonderful night, man. In danger. Let me go, uh, let me go save the brown cougar real quick. Who are you and what are you wearing? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up, I need some water before I read this. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I saw this shit and I cannot. That is such a Gita him thing to say and I fucking love it. Who are you? And what are you wearing? I can't. No. What, what voice did I do for Gita him? I, I can't go back and watch it. What, what voice did I do for Gita him? I can't remember. I'm gonna think about it for a second while I'm beating his ass. <laughs> Get 
trying to remember what voice did I do for him. Mm, it's been so long. It was like a slightly different version of my own voice. Where it was like, it was like basically all the sass that I had in on my person, but put into like a voice. Okay. Ugh. Let's see here. Maybe if I do the other one. I can confirm that the enemy's commander power has subsided. Defeat him immediately. Who are you? And what are you wearing? Have you no sense of style? Ugh. <laughs> Fucking love it. I fucking love- Gita him is probably my favorite Zelda villain, man. The dude's- It's- it's so good. It's so- Have you- Have you no sense of style? My voice is too raspy. Right now, anyways. I don't have my smooth voice. How could I fail? Next time, the ritual will go according to plan. I swear it! So majestic. So majestic. Fucking love it. So dumb. The guy is so good. It's so dumb, but so good at the same time. Get him is one of the hottest male video game characters. The man's an absolute queen, and I love it. He reminds me of Team Rocket. <laughs> you know, that's all right. I like that. Take this fucking jacket off for a minute. I'm kind of burning up a little bit. His. Gita him was too hot for me. I'm I'm burning alive, chat. Between Sia and Gita him, I can't help but like be a little bothered, you know? I can't I can't keep the jacket on. I'm burning alive. <laughs> also, I'm fucking hiccuping my life out away. Shit. So I didn't expect we were gonna be doing more legend uh missions today, but we have done no adventure map stuff, which is kind of wild. You really do spend a lot of time in these legend missions. They're a lot longer than the, uh, yep, I got the Hylian crossbows. Good, good. Good for her to at least to get those at some point. Six fucking in prison scales. Damn. I am Lord Gita him. I'll have to work on that. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read more of his lines to think about how the fuck I did that dumbass voice. Um, sh 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 which, I don't, I think it's been at least a few moments before, uh, suddenly Twilight Midna? I don't have her unlocked. <laughs> okay, here. I've been doing these for a moment. Let's go back to adventure mode. Go to the Great Sea map. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I don't give a shit. Who needs the, who needs the weapon when I could just kill them with Link? Okay, that's that's my question here. Um, it says recommended. It doesn't give me a recommendation. Okay. Well, let's do Link and Linkle. That's who I've been playing as. We'll we'll have the combo king and the combo queen. I don't see an issue here. Oh shit! Hold up. Okay, then we got we got to do the three heroes then. He's solo level though. I can't. Hmm. The three heroes of the story. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. No, I think what I really enjoy about Gita him is how different of a fucking uh, villain he is compared to the most of the Zelda villains. Which I, I think with most of the, like, impactful Zelda villains that aren't just Ganondorf, they've done a really good job making them very different. Um, I think a prime example would be, uh, you know, like I, like Gita him and Zant. Zant and Gita him are very, very distinctual, very, very interesting bosses, uh, very interesting bad guys. And I, I think they did a great job characterizing them, which is probably one of the main reasons they're in the video game. I think they're very awesome in their own right. But I, Zelda's always been really good with their characters anyways. Doesn't really matter if they're the villain or the uh, side characters or whatever. Like, they have always been pretty damn good about stuff like that. And Goma's dead. This is exactly how the Goma fight want, went in Zelda 1. I just walked up and slashed her fucking eyeball out. Oh, these guys.
I remember these guys from uh, Spirit Tracks, I think. I like how colorful this game is. The fucking uh, great, the great sea map. There we go. Okay, get to him and uh, get to him and Linkle. Let's go. Uh, let's go kill the other boss. This won't take any time at all. This will take literally no time. The poor Helmorok King is literally not even going to be able to. Well, all I'll have to do is get magic and then fight him. I'm also running the long way because what was the short way? I don't know. Obviously, the wrong way. Are we in the fucking Forsaken Fortress? Yeah, I just fought that guy a few days ago. Alrighty then. Yep, you having a good time? <laughs> you know, the Helmorok King is not very intimidating in this game. I, I am a lot... Like, I, I think the Helmorok King is made very intimidating inside of, uh... What is it? Inside of Wind Waker, but in this game, it's it's just the intimidation is not there. I'm Rock King. I want you to know you're fucked. God, and the sick ass tunes. I'm hitting your metal beak, but that that does not matter. Like you, you're fucked. You're dead. Yeah, dude, if, if you don't think the Master Sword is going to penetrate that shitty-ass Iron Mask, you're crazy. And you're done. Out of here. Lily didn't even drop me any loot at all. Okay. That sure pushes our li pushes us to our limits. Oh, did it. Is that what you want to call what just happened? Our limits. Pushing to our limits, indeed. Indeed. That's what that was. That absolutely... Yeah, he looks smaller. Yeah, especially, so I think what really helps the Helmorok King be a lot more intimidating inside of uh, Wind Waker is like, which which first off, I already think it's impressive that they made an intimidating character in such a cartoonish game. Making an enemy that makes you uneasy or like, you know, kind of weary about like what's happening is really impressive in such a, you know, lighthearted, happy game. So I think that's already like impressive and awesome. But, uh, use a strong attack to jump away from attacks and then follow through with a midair strike. He has a jump button? <laughs> he didn't have that in Wind Waker. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, where the hell would the hammer be? I actually do not know where the hammer would be. What the fuck is the hammer? I don't know. That sucks. Oh, well. Okay, so, yeah, it, it, okay, so what, what did it say? It said, it said legend, but. You haven't obtained the following item, which can give you an advantage in the battle or may be required to progress. Hammer, you may want to progress through legend mode before attempting it. Do you still want to proceed? So, yeah, what the fuck? What, what in the fuck? I don't. Is there something in legend mode that I missed? I don't know. We're going to do some more adventure maps before I get off. I, I don't want to. I don't want to just do legend mode the entire night. I want to do some different stuff as well. Um, there's no treasures I can get from there, really. Uh, this one. This one, I think I need item cards. Which is fine, because your boy is swimming in money. Oh, I need a candle. There we go. I'm just going to buy specifically what I need and nothing more. I need a bomb. <laughs> Let me use a candle on the rock, chat. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, honestly, it, it, as a kid, I probably did. Like, I want to I want to say that's not what I did, but yeah. I think the hardest part about trying to find some of the bombable stuff in this game without, like, memory is that you can only use it on one square. It's not like in Zelda 1, where you can kind of, like, you know, guesstimate it, where you can use, like, four bombs along the wall, and the bomb will blow up, like, two sections of that wall. Link looks way too excited to be here, which reminds me, I need to do his badges. This man has no combos. He has literally negative com negative combos, and I'm not going to use him because he does. I don't have any monster horns, so... Yeah, we're not we're not gonna use him. We are gonna use Young Link because Young Link is fantastic. And a thousand kills, you bet everything I'm gonna get a thousand kills in fucking one mission. There's no way I'm not. Don't tell Edgy what to do, game. I am too edgy to listen to you, game. You're not my real dad. Get the fuck out of here. My real dad's still getting milk. He never came back, you dumbass. <laughs> so stupid. 
Um, okay, cool. Ah, oh, the Scoured Sword theme. I fucking love it. Really? We're just gonna we're just gonna say that I just really sat here and did negative damage. Wait, I have to clear this whole map by my damn self. That seems a little unwarranted, don't you think? Well, the suddenly the Triforce, the entire damn thing. Okay, hold up. What am I looking at? Lost on a Mama Cuckoo. Okay, that 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 is the first priority. Because if I don't reunite them, I will die. Does that say Volga and Darunia? Uh, all right, we're we're gonna ignore that part. Way over there! Oh my god! There is no faster. Wait, yeah, there is. Hold up. Whoo! I almost I read the map wrong. There is a faster way to get over there. Nope, no nope, uh, fairy food. I'm gonna start breaking all the normal pots I see because I believe those are the ones that give not only the fairies but the uh, fairy food as well. And so anytime I see them. It's just gonna be like immediately has to be broken. Like there's there's no questioning it. Like it has to be double checked. Ah yes, arrow upgrade. Exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Look out! Proxy. Wait, why is it proxy in this game? Why doesn't he have tattle or tail? Which I want you to know, I beat all of Majora's Mask before I realized the name Tattle Tail was like a thing. Like tattle and tail. Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like a fucking idiot beating that entire game without realizing that. Like, I feel like that's probably some people immediately realize that shit. Okay. Okay, so he's just going to have to be in danger. I can't run across the whole map in that short amount of time. It's way up there. I mean, I was just up there, and he's playing. That's, he's playing. Volga is in trouble. Okay, 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 okay. D d d fuck you, game. Fuck you. Where's, where's, who the fuck, who the fuck is the one intruding on this random shit? What is, is it Sheik? You, you guys are losing to fucking Sheik. To Sheik. Sheik is not that powerful. I mean, she's good. She's a really good character. But like, in the 2v1, and one of you is Volga? That's, that's not really fair. Wait, how... I don't know that until now either. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone relates to it. Suddenly, I'm overpowered. Two kills, hell yes. And you're all dead. Okay, now the real damage is here. I hope you're all prepared because you've literally just brought the wrath of a fucking god in the form of a small child. And you're all dead. I should have killed Sheik, I'm sure. Unless Sheik just somehow dodged that finale. Yep. That's that's literally exactly what happened. Okay, Sheik, you're gonna take you're gonna eat the wrath of my fairy! Get him, girl! Show her who's boss! That did nothing. Well, I mean, that was alright. It was not the worst ability, but it was nothing that I would ever actually use on purpose. Okay, so now that I realize how bad that actually was, I'm going to now realize that this mission is a lot more difficult than I thought. So I'm going to go to Battlefield Info, double check the Cuckoo's fine. Why is the Cuckoo Chick up here? Did I just, like, get really fucked last time and have the Cuckoo Chick be in the other side of the map? Like, is that actually a random spawn? Because if that's a random spawn, that's kind of busted. Cause then I would just try. I would just constantly try until I got a good cuckoo spawn. Like that's that's all you would do every time. You bop, you bop. 
What, what was I gonna say? I think I was gonna say bitch. I said bah. <laughs> bah humbug, you asshole. Because it's definitely Christmas right now. In the middle of, uh... Fucking April? Yes, I don't know what fucking month it is. You can tell me what month it is? I don't leave my house. I'm a fucking vampire. Um, best follows, primes, and viewers on Mount Viewers. Best follows, primes, and viewers on mountviewers.com. Remove the space. Hi. Love this game. Welcome in. Do Doom to all. I do love this game as well. Let me get, um, let me get this random ad out of here. That's not the button. I don't think I have any, uh, that's not what I wanted. Wait, hold on. Make sure I'm doing the right person. Okay. There we go. But yeah, welcome in, Do uh, Doom to all. Uh, I f first off, love the name. Love the name. And since you're saying uh, you love this game, who is your favorite character to play as in this game? Um, I would say, like, because, like, me, I I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm trying to think of like my favorite character to play as. I think it's probably Gita him, because I, it's I've always loved Gita him in Zelda games. So I mean inside of Skyward Sword. So being able to play as him in this game is so so fucking great. And just fucking doing this to regain everything. And played! There we go. I'm not gonna lie, if Young Lee keeps being so overpowered though, he might be my favorite. Because honestly, with him having his hyper armor and his focus spirit, oh my god! Literally, I'm fucking un literally unlocked a skill. Dude, I can't. So, I remember watching, what was it? Um, the Completionist, like when he was playing this game. The main character I'm pretty sure he played as was Young Link, and he said it was because he loved Majora's Mask. But dude, I gotta say, I think Young Link is really just that overpowered. Oh fuck, we got Gita him's cape too. Like, I, I think Young Link is borderline OP. Like, it's it's kind of like how Link and Ganondorf are, where they're just kind of almost unfair, I would say. Oh, you just got it. Have you played uh, Kronos, Edge of Ash? Um, I'm on the plate play the beginning part. I might like playing as Volga the most. And see, that's very valid to Shemi. Because Volga, like I was showing you guys earlier, Volga's basic combo. Damn. 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 Okay, I fucked up every side mission in here. That sucks. Beware of Mama Kuko's Fury. Well, that... Oh, well. I'm just gonna have to say I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't care about the side missions. I'm here to win! I'm, I'm here to win, not protect the damn chickens. I eat too. I ate. I've eaten way too much Chick Fil A in my life to start worrying about the chickens now. <laughs> it's, it's, it, if I did, it'd be kind of, it'd be kind of, you know, not heretical, but what's the word? God damn it, not controversial. You know, I try to make a full, actual, logical statement, but like it, it just immediately leaves. Not ironic. God damn it. What is the word? Chat, I have no words. I literally don't. I can't find them. <laughs> They've left my brain. Mama Kuko, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, okay? I tried, and then I got distracted by literally the millions of enemies on this map. You're literally just a problem, and I'm just gonna have to kill you. <laughs> that's that's a really harsh insult, now that I really think about it. It's a really fucked up thing to say to a chicken. That, that poor chicken, that was kind of uncalled for. <laughs> At the end of the day, that was kind of, that was kind of mean. Okay, manhandle the stock. Oh my god, they're all over the map. Okay. Yeah, we're getting rid of these. As, as dumb as the gold cuckoo can be, the manhandle of stock by far is worse. I, I literally manhandle it has got to be the dumbest fucking boss in this game. So if you do like playing this game, I will say there is one problem. Manhandle it is in the game, and that's like slightly triggering to me. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'd, I'd prefer it if manhandle it just didn't exist. But it, it, it sucks that a iron plant of my own sadness just is here to, to give me pain. That's that's pretty much what he is. He's a giant iron plant who ignores all the damage you deal, doesn't flinch to it. And then, as you do hit him, 
when you finally do break him down after constant attempts have failed and like you know barely in you're like you okay this is a bad example but like he pretty much anytime he makes himself vulnerable there's only like a percent chance it's actually gonna work when you actually try to make him vulnerable then when you do make him vulnerable you don't usually do nearly enough damage in time to actually do enough damage to kill him or to actually break his fucking stamina bar. So it's just, it's an all around annoying ass fight. It's not like Goma where it's like they use their eyeball laser pretty consistently. No, Manhandle a lot of the time he'll do the fucking em like invincible like shuffle of death where he'll hit you even through your block and then he'll shuffle around and then just, you know, it, it, and ruin your run. You'll be A rank and you'll be in like an all attacks or devastating mission and he'll just do that. You'll you'll take the hit and then you'll die. It's it I, can't, I hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Literally my least favorite boss. But yeah, I think uh, as far as my favorite character, Gita him might be my favorite just because of the fact that I can play him. Um, I think he's not only a good character to play as, but he's probably also one of my favorite characters in general as well. He's fun to play as and effective. He's fun to play as, effective to play as, and he's also a character I enjoy. So, he's kind of got a lot going for him. This gold Kuko is going to catch up to me eventually, and I'm really going to regret it. <laughs> as they're still chasing me. Dude, okay. You can't be that fast. You're just a chicken. Um, I might like playing um, Lameo. Manhandle is the worst boss in the game. He is he is just unarguably the worst. It's... Ugh. And then the Imprisoned is like a close second. The Imprisoned went... Uh, okay, so here's the thing. The Imprisoned, when you're playing in this game, if you're not playing as certain characters, there's not really much you can do to break his toes that is like where you won't take damage. Almost all, You'll almost always take damage while he's doing his attacks. Like, you have to have a character, like, Gita him is a good one to play as when you fight the Imprisoned, because he has the range attack that hits his toes. But if you're not playing a character that has, like, a wave beam attack as a combo, then you pretty much just have to take your entire health bar trying to kill the Imprisoned. And especially when you get to the later point of this game where you're trying to get A ranks on everything, there's not really anything you can do to kind of, like, make it easier for yourself. Okay, cool, so I'm going the right way. I was thinking they were over here, but I was waiting for me to be wrong. I love the guitars in, the, uh, in this theme, by the way. This theme is also really fucking good. It's, uh, I remember my first time hearing Hyrule Warriors and then hearing those fucking electric guitars over the Zelda theme. I, I very much enjoyed it. While I heard a lot of people screaming blasphemy, I was over here getting hyped as shit. Okay, Mama Kuko, you're dead. Like, I hate that I had to kill Vamakuko, but it's a, it, good work murdering that poor helpless animal. Link, you fucking jerk. <laughs> Liter literally, don't don't congratulate me on that. That's fucked up. Don't do that. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm the asshole who didn't help them. Don't, don't congratulate me. I'm the villain here. This is my villain origin story. Um, I think there's like a rewards map quest where you have to fight six at the same time. Yeah, it, dude. Okay, I can't. Wait, is that a Kuko? Is that a Kuko? No, it's a Pikachu. Okay. Daruni is in danger. What the fuck is Daruni at? I could really use some help here. And I could really use with less of your complaining, Darunia. I'd like to see you try to kill a golden chicken, okay? Not everyone can do that. Can you do that? No. Shut up. You're a fucking rock. Hide it in yourself. How are how are you taking damage? You're literally a rock. Or are you also starving because there's not a, not a there's not enough rocks around? <laughs> Back to the rock discussion. Are you starving to death? Is that is that the problem? Just eat the floor, dude. Come on now. Don't 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 clip that out of context. Out of, in any other context, that sounds super fucked. <laughs> there's so many things I say that would be terrible out of context. Suddenly, max XP. And just this combo. 
this combo, this combo. Okay. Come here, Lizalfos, you're dead. Weapon drops, material drops. So, I actually do not really want weapon drops. I usually like material drops. Damn! I really do forget how much you wipe the fucking floor with everything. Which is weird that I'm doing this well against all these enemies. Because I actually killed more enemies quicker when I was playing Linkle earlier, if anybody remembers that. When I was playing Linkle earlier and I got literally 500 kills in the small hallway with barely any enemies in it. Well, I mean, barely enemies at half a thousand, but that's not the point. It just, it looked like nothing, but then I sat here and got 500 kills effortlessly. The only reason I got 500 kills here is because I was able to sit here and elongate my abilities. But with the other one, it, there, there was just, like, they kept giving me enemies to fight, so I kept fighting them, and they just would not stop, so I biked, my fucking kill counter just kept going up. Yeah, I'm going to go up here and clear this out real quick. Okay. And then now that we're here, I'm probably going to go finish the mission. Because honestly, once you get to this point, you really kind of just have to run to the end. There's not much else I could do. But yeah, I, I got to ask uh, to Shimmy and Doom to all. Uh, have you guys played a lot of hack and slash games? Or is this really like the only hack and slash game you've played? I've played one. Um, I've only played, personally, the uh, one Warriors game. I played a very small amount of it. God, my nose is fucking killing me. I might, this might be one of my last missions that when my nose bothering me so much. But, uh, yeah, this is really the only, uh, like, Warriors game I've played a lot of. I should try playing some more, but if you count God of War, I haven't played many hack and slash games. Okay. Yeah, I, I mostly play RPGs and, like, uh, strategy games and stuff like that. Because I, I love to use my brain. Or whatever's left of one. Don't you mess up my A-rank woman! Please. I request, please, don't do that. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'm gonna go do this. That's a fairy? What? I caught a companion fairy. Alright then. Are you ready for my wrath? Yes! This is what beating a mission looks like. you're dead. Actually, I might not know. Okay, damn. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost so OP that we're able to kill somebody instantly. I'm so used to the easy missions to where, like, that absolutely would have killed her. That's what I get for playing easy story missions, where I'm just expecting everything to fucking fall into my hands. This, I mean, this might be enough. I don't know, man. Like I said, they had to be, they had to be rude and put check marks next to the easy mission. Easy difficulty, so now I have to beat everything on easy. Which, you know, that's fine. I... I deserve to have at least a few moments in this game that aren't super stressful. And you guys know me, I like to play games that are stressful anyways. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that goes home and is like, you know what, I want to relax and play some Elden Ring. And then everyone fucking drops their drink like, fucking relax? The fuck you mean relax, Edgy Gamer? You're never relaxed. Exactly. Which in fact, literally I said earlier today, that um, like my hair is really sensitive, and the only way that I physically relax as a human being is like when I brush my hair or something, and it has to be like very like intentional. Like it has has to be very like slow. Like here, let's say my phone's my hairbrush. It has to be very like subtle, very very subtle. But here's the issue: is I don't brush my hair like that because since I'm never relaxed ever, like I'm not relaxed from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep to the time I'm eating to the time I'm watching something. Not a single moment of my life am I ever fucking relaxed. Okay, but. Like, I am always either anxious, worried, um, consumed in thought, doesn't matter. But, like, uh, when, when that happens, it makes all my muscles relax, and it makes me extremely uncomfortable. 
<laughs> it's because I did that earlier while I was brushing my hair, and I was trying to like brush it really gently so my hair would lay down like really softly and like look really smooth. And then like the for like a good 20 minutes later, I just I my whole body felt not okay, and we got ourselves a little e-girl fairy, and you know what? I'm all about it. Loyla, that's all right, Loyla. I don't need to change her name. She's allowed to have her own name. I'm not going to be rude to her. She's a glass cannon. You know what? I'm cool with it. What time is it? One hour and 40 minutes. Let me uh, let me go check our girl Loyla real quick. What does she have to bring to the table? How effective is Loyla? Fair question. Fair thoughts. Whew. I don't know. I was told there's a, like, you usually want to have uh, only the one fairy, but I don't know, man. I don't see why not. We got Sparkly, Valiant, Friendly, Resolute, and Eager. I had Sparkly, Valiant, Smiley, Resolute, and Aspiring. Ooh. Okay. Salon. I mean, that's cute, but she needs a, like, a pants bottom. Oh, okay. You know what? That works, then. The Demon Lord slacks our little emo fairy. I mean, she is, she is, uh, she is, oh, okay, there we go. She looks hella evil right now. You know, that, that kind of matches her red gym. Nah, I don't want her. She, she looks too cute to have all this crazy stuff on. Um, no, I think, the, I think this works. I, I, I like it. I like what I'm seeing. In a word, this new look is perfect. Exactly. She knows fashion. Increased attack damage, it reduces your health and defenses to one hit. Fucking what? That sounds terrible. That sounds like the worst ability, in my opinion. That sounds like an ability that I would not want to have. Apparently that's a very high-ranking ability, but I would never in my life want to use that. I feel like I would die. Yeah, like, immediately. I feel like I feel like that's... Like, yes, edgy gamer, just get better and play perfectly, but what if I can't play perfectly, okay? <laughs> what, what if I'm not perfect, okay? I'm sorry. I did not get the fairy food from that mission. That sucks. I was kind of going in there to get the fairy food, but all right. Go ahead and buy the compass. Fuck. Go buy this compass. I'm going to buy like four of them. Buy a couple bombs. There we go. Using all my damn money. Yeah, there's no way I'm guessing this one. Yeah, in fact, I actually thought it was going to be on the right side. So, yeah, that just, there was no way I was going to figure that one out. We, we had a few moments where I figured it out by just an off chance level 11. Yeah, that shit's not happening right now. We got here. We got Link's level 1 weapon. Well, these are all, like, level 11. Le level, le level what now? <laughs> level what now? Okay. Level 11. Okay. And you're not... You're not perfect unsubbing, right? Right. I would unsub too. I'm not perfect. How dare you not be the absolute embodiment of perfection, damn it. God. Got our little emo girl fairy. The absolute adorable character. Adventure mode is a special mode in which you can acquire heart containers and powerful new weapons. Power up your warriors and unlock new warriors. That has been ASMR reading with Edgy Gamer. I don't know. My voice is pretty soothing when I'm off stream. When I'm on stream, I to put a lot more excitement in my voice, but when I'm not, like, hold up. Fairy skills are powerful abilities that, com that companion fairies can learn. Each fairy can learn up to four fairy skills by leveling up. You can use fairy skills in battle by equipping them in prep. Okay, different fairy skills. Um, Stopping the special gate. Like, temporary stopping the special attack gauge from decreasing or allowing you to be revived just once after being KO'd. Strength of fairy skills will increase your companion fairy levels up. Okay. Fair. I think that's a pretty fair reasoning. Okay, Bemos, you're done. Oh, God. There's Gibdos everywhere. I don't think these are Gibdos. Those are, those are Redeads. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, he, I was about to say he's going to get his fucking friend killed right here. God damn it, dude. You left yourself wide open. 
You played yourself, as always. Why is everyone always playing themselves? Just stop putting, stop laying out your hand into my trap. Literally, I, I'm placing a fucking bear trap on the ground, and you're just putting your hand in it. You're playing until dawn and falling for the simple trap. It's kind of dumb. Which, you know, speaking of until dawn, the only reason I even know what that game is is because of Markiplier. And I gotta say, Markiplier, once again, props to you to get me to actually watch someone play a fucking horror game. Because uh, I would have never played a horror game ever. And I probably would have never watched someone play a horror game e as ever either. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot handle... Emo Fairy is pretty pog. It is pretty pog. It's it's edgy pog, in fact. It's like it's like the edgy pog emote we have in my Discord that's fucking stupid as shit. It's a fucking low JPEG of me making a pog face on accident while I'm getting really excited. And I fucking love it. Motherfucker, if you do this, Wizro, I'm gonna kill you. That's, that's not a threat, that's a promise. And I keep my promises, bitch! Who's ready to split a fucking planetary body in half? Oh my god, it's coming out this fucking wall! There we go. Okay. I got... What does Wizro even drop for his gold drop? I actually don't think I've ever seen Wizro drop a gold drop. I lost, but how could one as clever as I lose to you? Yeah, clever. That's what we're gonna call you. Um, that's, that's one way to say stupid. No? You are right, Prompto. Always no. It should always be no. Anytime I breathe, the answer should be no. I should- I should just- <laughs> I should just stop breathing. I should- I should go bond with my toaster like I said I would do that one time. Remember when I told you guys on stream in, in my Wind Waker stream that I bond with my toaster by taking a bath with him, you know? Like that's- that's what I like to do in my spare time. I mean, I've not done that in a while. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. I, I don't recommend anybody do that because I will not be responsible for anything that you do. But I'm just saying that that's that's what I do. <laughs> Fucking hate it. And the only reason this shit sticks in my head so much is because like I hear it, and I'm like I I don't think I could have said anything dumber. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to de fight Volga first because Volga is way more difficult than the fucking re-dead. Volga, please die. Please get off the battlefield. Vol, you Vol big, you rip off. You rip off of a better Zelda boss, you. How dare. Why are you... Okay, that's some bullshit. Okay. It literally was having me walk into the fucking re-dead. I was literally dodging into the re-dead, and it was pushing him back with me. What kind of, like, just don't, <laughs> I did not master the fucking displacement magic, okay? Just, just let him, let him move out the way, not move with me. <laughs> he did not land a grab attack, okay? This is not Mortal Kombat, as much as when I played Volga earlier, it sure fucking looked like it was. I was, I turned on Mortal Kombat I turned on Mortal Kombat 10 and turned on <laughs> low gravity and juggle combat, which if anybody's ever played Mortal Kombat 10 with juggle combat and low gravity, you'd understand why that's the worst idea ever. You could literally press back B and forward Y with fucking Scorpion, sword variant, and you would literally win the duel the entire time. Because it knocks him up in the air and then throws him into the ground, and you just do that and you, and you win the fight. If you land the attack, the your opponent loses, and it's one of the most toxic things I've ever seen. I literally was hanging at someone's house, and they were all dueling each other. Of course, I wasn't really participating because I didn't really play fighting games. And I'm also not, like, a salty gamer. I, I'm a lot less, like, outgoing in person. And this, this, is, a, this is when I was in high school, so I was even, uh... I was a lot more of an edgelord, so I really didn't want to participate in anything at all. At all, at all. Um, I also have my nasty-ass curly hair, which I don't have right now. I've got my pretty straight hair. But, um, no. I, uh, li literally, no. Like, yeah, literally, no. Uh, but... I uh, was watching them do their fucking tournament here, and it, they were doing the they were doing the uh, one where it did the random modifiers, and you know everyone was getting like you know some sometimes they'd get low gravity or sometimes they'd get like fast combat, sometimes they'd get something really stupid to happen, 
and it would always it'd be kind of back and forth, right? Like you know, it'd be like pretty close games because it'd be modifiers that kind of made the game very difficult for either person to get the win. But um, then it got to this one mission, right? Where it was uh, two of the guys, and they sat here playing it. And I kid you not, like I said, it had sl it it turned on me it turned on like meteors or whatever, where like random shit would fall out of the sky and then cause you to get knocked up in the air and start juggling. Then it had slow motion or low gravity, so you would fall slowly. And then it had the juggle combat, so your moves knocked people up in the air more, regardless of the move. So, literally, absolutely everything juggled everybody, and it was kind of, kind of unwarranted, really. It was, it was kind of unfair. It was fucking ridiculous. And I cannot explain how angry one of my, uh, one of my, uh, friends there, I'm not friends with them anymore, but one of my friends that were there got when that happened. Like, they were unbelievably pissed I th and you know what rightfully so I feel like if that was happening most people in the fucking world would be pissed okay cause that's 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 like a fucking war crime that's how fucking brutal that shit was that shit was fucked up okay so I'm gonna um, hold up I wanna upgrade Gita to him and then maybe we'll do I need to do another high level person maybe I'll do uh Lana. I've not played Lana in a while. I actually really like playing Lana. The only problem with Lana is like, so I've only ever played Lana really like with the Deku Spear and the and the book, right? And I gotta say, using her Deku Deku Spear is kind of shitty. Sacrifice edgy. Depends on who you're sacrificing me to. If it's Lightning from Final Fantasy 13, um, you know, any of the main characters from 15, or uh, honestly, like most of the characters I enjoy, that's fair. You know, that's 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 fair. Sacri Dude, make it interesting. Sacrifice me to a character I hate. Sacrifice me to, like, you know... God, I actually don't hate a lot of characters. Like, every character I usually dislike, like, I don't really hate them, because I, I have very logical, like, I usually use a little bit of deductive reasoning on, like... I usually try to explain, like, why they're not a bad character. It's just why I don't like them, so I don't know. What, what would be a... R or just uh, sacrifice me to something I've never heard of before. Like, sacrifice me to a random Minecraft skin I don't know, because I don't play Minecraft. Sacrifice me to one of the Fortnite skins, maybe. You know, like... <laughs> you know, I, I, I played, uh, what was it, Smite. Sacrifice me to one of the, um... What was it, the Greek gods, because I didn't know the Greek gods. Which, honestly, that was one of the coolest parts about playing Smite, is all the crazy-ass gods they had in that game. Shit was wild, which if you are curious if you guys ever played Smite, my main was Bakasura, Bakasura, the Great Devourer. I loved using his ultimate and walking up and fucking destroying people. Wait, hold up. No, I don't, I don't think you get any rewards out of this. I'm definitely not going to get any rewards if I keep getting played. You know what, bitch? I don't. I don't play this game. I'll play this game. Best part of him. Uh, best part of uh, Gita him right here. Darunia no longer gets to play the game. There we go. Gita him has probably one of the cheesiest um, abilities I've ever seen. Okay, Manhandler. Come on. Damn it. Okay, hold up. Get to him. You're, you're attacking the helmet. Okay, you're attacking the helmet, I say. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. And you're done. This might kill him. Damn it. Damn it! No, stop it! You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you, man, handle it. You may be immune to damage, but you're not immune to kawaii anime girls. Nobody is. Absolutely nobody. And you, and you know what? That's a, that's a fair statement. I, I'd say that would destroy most people in a 1v1. Should have been better. Sacrifice Edge to the Goddess Tashimi. Nope, it's to Ifrit. Don't actually. Sacrifice Edge to just slightly expired mayonnaise. Oh, God. Please the fuck don't. <laughs> you? <laughs> 
<laughs> slightly expired. Not even, not even comically expired. Slightly expired, just to make it grody. Okay, as a person who has smelt, like, expired milk, like, directly up the nose, all I can say is that sounds like the worst drunk ever. Mayonnaise being fucking expired. That just, ugh. <laughs> sounds horrible, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Bombs! Is this really not giving me any XP? I guess I'm not really killing that many enemies. This is one of the kill 500 enemies missions, so they are going to make it a little difficult to kill enemies. That's probably the best move. Th that combo right there is probably the best combo you can do to get to him. It's just that one. It, I think it clears the most range out of all of them and does just the most stuff. This right here I also really, really enjoy. You know, we're, we're talking about Gita him and stuff. One thing that I will say, I have actually, I do like to play with, uh, play around with my uh, liquid eyeliner every now and then. Um, I actually did Gita him's, uh, like, kind of diamond makeup when he changes forms or whatever. Like the diamond design he has along his face. I actually did that IRL, and that shit was so hard to do. Now, did it look as good IRL as it did in game? Absolutely not. It never does. It never, ever does. Well, okay, on rare occasions. When you have the person who has the perfect makeup and the perfect, like, you know, existence to look exactly like the character, then, yeah, of course it does. But 90% of the time, it doesn't. Which I also love, speaking of the ultimate form of Gita him, I love that they show the ultimate form of Gita him in this game. Like, I, that's kind of, that's perfect for his uh, spirit form, I would say. You're dead, Sheik. I'm sorry, Sheik, it had to happen. Am I almost halfway yet? Almost. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is. Pr um, let me see what time it is. Um, this will probably be the, this. It, this will be the last mission I do on stream. I will let everyone know. Expired pizza. Okay. Come on now. You guys gotta know I don't like pizza by now. Don't. I'm scared. Every every time I see that, that shit horrifies me. Come on, just stun the motherfucker. You know what? Fine. I'll fucking stun him. <laughs> you know how I'll stun him? With my stunning looks. My electrifying personality. And my shocking statements! No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That that state that, that that clusterfuck of statements I just said was pretty cringe. So if you if you think it's cringe, I will I will agree. Honestly, it's pretty cringe. This is more cringe than the Men in Black series. Bro, I don't know the fucking direct quote. I've not watched it today. You're right, I should watch it every day to increase my intellectual level. Exactly. Bro, I don't... You know, I gotta say, one one thing that I, I will say, one of my, my, my opinions that does make people mad, I think the me not liking pizza is probably one of the biggest opinions that makes people mad that I've ever seen. Like, I've made people mad with having a different opinion than them all the time, which it's whatever. I really don't care because, like, at the end of the day, if people get mad at my opinion, that they, I don't, I don't really have to give a shit because if they're getting mad over opinions, they're being silly anyways. But out of all the opinions to make people mad, the pizza one always gets the biggest response. They're so, like, you don't like pizza? You're not American. Okay, motherfucker. I don't think there's anything more American than, like, burgers and hot dogs, which is, like, Greasy fast food, which it perfectly explains America. But, like, so I don't even, like, pizza kind of makes sense for that, too. But, like, I, 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 uh, I don't know. It, it, there's, whatever, not the point. But, anyways, like, that's, that's one thing. It's just kind of like, all, every time, every time I mention that I don't like pizza, 
I almost always have somebody appear from the ether to tell me how wrong I am for not liking the food they like. And it is it is always interesting. I <laughs> Kawaii Desu! Oh my god! So dumb. I fucking hate it. Fucking hate it. What what was that, Lana? Don't ever do that again, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. You looks like we won somehow, right? I thought we were gonna lose. Okay, we didn't get a lot of percentage done today, but we did get um a little bit done today. Now I do have to get off because I have to go watch JoJo's and wipe off my makeup and uh, drink a little bit of water, wash my face, all that good stuff. So I'll end the stream with Lana being adorable, being sorry, being very kawaii. And then I'll end it with cute and, you know, this creepy, beautiful motherfucker right here. Manhandle is sapling. I don't think I've ever gotten that one. So that's a pretty rare fucking drop. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, say thank you to everybody who hopped in stream today with me. I appreciate all your time and your attention. Hopefully you guys had a blast like I always do. And um, I will let you know, I probably will not be playing Hero Warriors tomorrow. Um, if you guys, I will let you know, I'll probably be playing a little bit of Elden Ring. That's probably. I might actually start a new playthrough tomorrow of something. I'm not sure yet. Because right now, I don't have any, like, strict storyline playthroughs happening. Which I will probably dig through my games tonight and think about. So expect, I will say this. I will not be playing Darkest Dungeon or Monster Hunter tomorrow unless some severe changes happen to my plans. It should be either Hyrule Warriors, Elden Ring, or a new playthrough. Will be the three that I'll be probably doing. But regardless of what it is, hopefully you guys will enjoy my uh, decision. And also enjoy your evening. Okay, and as always, this has been your boy Edgy Gamer, And of course, later losers. Have a good night. Stay edgy and stay salty. And if you're gonna have a hot take, please explain it. Don't just don't just say some say some stupid shit. It, 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 we all get dumber when you say stupid shit without a reason.